Hi there, I'm Daniel from Simple Inc. And in this simple guide, I'm going to show you how you can create a proper calendar in Notion. Also, I'm going to show you how you can use your homepage and how you can connect your Notion calendar to uh, your Notion database. So first of all, what you have to understand is that every calendar in Notion is actually a database. So we should create a database if we want to create a calendar. So Let's start by creating a test page. And let's say you want to create a calendar here. Now, you can create a database. Uh, you have a couple of ways. First of all, if you created a new page, you have this option to turn into a table, which basically is a database. Or if you want, let's create a new page. Let's say you want to create a database here, then you can just type slash write data and you have two options, database inline, which means that it will add it in inside the page or database full page, which will create a new page. So let's call this meeting notes. And uh, if we are talking about a calendar, the one property that we will need is a date property. So let's add that. Okay, and let's add one on one meeting board meeting. Okay, and let's add this for today and that for tomorrow. And now that we have a database, we can turn this simply into a calendar by uh, creating a new view, a new calendar view. So just press on the plus icon and press calendar. And basically that's it. Uh, what you have to check, but if right now we only have one date uh, property, so it automatically uses that one, but you might have multiple date properties and you might need to select the one that you want to use. So in layout, you go and you check show calendar by and you select the date property that you want to use. Okay, now we have a calendar, but as you can see, this is a month view. So let's rename this to month view and let's create a new one. I will just duplicate this to week view. Maybe you want to see your week instead of your month. And under layout, you can select show calendar as week. So these are the two views that you can use in a notion, but also with views, you can also filter your database, your calendar. So let's say that you have different kinds of meetings and you want to see only one of them. So let's add the tag for this one on one meetings and the other management. Okay. And let's say that you only want to see, uh, management meetings. So you can go to filters and filter by tag and check management. So this will help you see only a part of your notion database. Now, another thing that I want to show you is notion calendar. This is a new addition and it's a separate app but it integrates very, very good with Notion itself. So as you can see, you have this button here, opening calendar, or you have, you can open your calendar right here in, in the menu. Uh, but let's check if you click on opening calendar, as you can see in the right side, it told me that it's adding this calendar and it appeared here. And now I can see the meeting notes and here is the board meeting. You can drag it, you can edit it and it, this will also update the Notion database. You can also click open in Notion and this will uh, jump you back right into your Notion setup. One last thing that I wanted to show you is uh, using your homepage as here also you have a nice uh, calendar section, let's say it like that. As you can see, you have upcoming events that will actually take the events from your Google calendar. And you have this home view where you can select the database that you want to be shown here. And let's 
search for meeting notes and show it in a month view. Okay, so now you can see uh, on your home page also your calendar. So this is it for now. I hope I helped. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will see you in the next one.